Hey there, what's up gamers? If you're wondering whether Monster Hunter's Double Cross is still worth playing after all these years, my answer is a resounding hell yes. This game might not have the fancy graphics or slick mechanics of newer Monster Hunter games like Rise and World, but what it lacks in polish it more than makes up for in gameplay that is absolutely unbeatable. So if you're a fan of the Monster Hunter series and you're looking for a taste of the original flavor, Double Cross is definitely the game for you. Sure, it might feel a bit old-fashioned compared to some of the newer titles out there, but the core gameplay is just as thrilling and satisfying as it was when the game first came out. All in all, I highly recommend giving Monster Hunter's Double Cross a try if you haven't already. It's a classic for a reason, and even after all these years it still holds up as one of the best games in the series. So grab your weapon of choice and get ready to take on some of the toughest monsters in the world, you won't be disappointed. Gamers and Chica. If you're wondering about the difference between Monster Hunter Double Cross and Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate, I've got you covered. Basically, both games are action-packed RPGs where you take on giant monsters, and they're both made by Capcom. The main difference is that Double Cross originally came out in Japan in 2017 for the Nintendo 3DS, but was later released on the Switch in 2008. On the other hand, Generation Ultimate was made specifically for non-Japanese players and released on the Switch. Plus, the graphics and gameplay are a bit smoother on MHGU thanks to being on the newer console. So, whether you pick Double Cross or MHGU, you're in for an exciting monster hunting adventure. When it comes to the differences between Monster Hunter Cross and newer titles like World or Rise, there are so many interesting things to talk about. I could chat about it all day in another video, but for now let's look at two main game mechanics that are missing in the recent titles. First up, the bad one, tracking. In Double Cross, there's no easy tracking system like the Scout Flies in Monster Hunter World. Instead, you have to bring a paintball and chuck it at the monster to track them on the map. It's a super annoying process, and if you forget to bring a paintball, you'll waste loads of time wandering around trying to find the monster. Plus, the game doesn't have seamless transitions between different areas in a field, which means you're constantly waiting for loading screen. It's enough to drive you insane. Tracking in Double Monster Hunter Cross just isn't as smooth or intuitive as it is in World or Rise, and it's definitely one of the game's biggest drawbacks. Let's talk about the great game mechanics in Monster Hunter Double Cross, the hunting style. There are six hunting styles in the game. First, Guild Style. This is the default style and features a balanced set of moves. It's a good choice for beginners and hunters who prefer a well-rounded playstyle. Striker Style This style is focused on offense and lets you build up your hunter arts more quickly. It's great for hunters who like to deal a lot of damage quickly. Aerial Style This style is all about jumping and mounting monsters. It lets you perform aerial attacks and makes it easier to mount monsters, which can give you a huge advantage in battle. Valor Style it's a style that focuses on building up a special gauge called the Valor Gauge by acting and evading attacks. Once the gauge is filled, the player can enter a special mode where their attacks deal more damage, they have access to special moves, and they take reduced damage while performing certain actions. The style encourages players to be more aggressive and strategic in their playstyle, as the Valor Gauge can only be filled by attacking and evading at the right moments. Adept Style This style is similar to Valor Style but has some key differences. It allows players to perform powerful counterattacks when they successfully dodge an enemy attack at the right time. When a player dodges an enemy attack with precise timing, they will enter a temporary adept state where they can perform a powerful counterattack or evade move, depending on the weapon they are using. This style requires good timing and practice to master, but it can be very rewarding in combat. Alchemy Style This style is all about support and lets you craft special items that can give you and your teammates an advantage in battle. It's a great choice for hunters who enjoy playing a support role in multiplayer hunts. The hunting styles add a lot of depth and replayability to the game, allowing players to experiment with different playstyles and find the one that suits them best. Overall, it's one of the great game mechanics in Monster Hunter Double Cross that makes the game so enjoyable and addictive. Fun fact, in the original Japanese version, Adept Style is actually called Bushido Style. Personally, I prefer the name Bushido style because it's inspired by the moral code that governs samurai attitudes, behavior, and lifestyle. When using this style, you're like a samurai, dodging monster attacks with precision and then quickly counterattacking. Valor style is my absolute favorite. Using this style, the entire hunting process feels incredibly smooth and fluid. The sheathing animation when your weapon is drawn is quite long, so it's not as risky as adept style, which requires super precise dodging. With Valor style, you automatically dodge within the sheathing animation, making it more beginner-friendly. Plus, when you input an attack while sheathing, it unlocks brand new moves that vary with different weapons. 
The only downside of Valor style is the long sheathing animation, which can put you in danger if you're trying to use potions or items. Overall, I think Valor style is a medium risk, high reward hunting style that requires skilled timing and precise execution to be effective. And most importantly, it's a lot of fun to use. Alright, now it's time to give Monster Hunter Double Cross a rating. Let's break it down into different aspects of the game. Story, to be honest, the story in Monster Hunter games has never been the main attraction. It's usually pretty bare bones. And that's the case with Double Cross as well. So in terms of story, I'd give it a 3 out of 10. Monster Hunter Double Cross's gameplay is simply amazing. The addition of hunting styles and hunter arts take the experience to a whole new level, making it more diverse and thrilling than ever before. If we were only rating gameplay, I'd say that Monster Hunter Double Cross is the best game in the entire Monster Hunter series. In my opinion, it even outshines Monster Hunter World or Rise because of the deeply intricate and well-executed design of the hunter styles. Honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. For the music, I would give it a score of 6.5. Personally, I don't find it very attractive. But I have to admit that some of the background music for the monsters is classical and impressive, like the one for Gladeness. It definitely adds to the immersion and excitement of the combat. When it comes to graphics, some players may find that Monster Hunter Double Cross is not as visually impressive as newer titles like Monster Hunter World. However, considering that the game was released in 2017, the graphics are still decent. I would give the graphics a solid 5.5 out of 10. Replayability is another strength of Monster Hunter Double Cross. With such a vast array of weapons, hunting styles, hunter arts, and monsters to hunt, there's always something new to explore and try. Double Cross has the largest number of monsters in the entire series with 93 monsters, which satisfies the hunter's desire for hunting. The multiplayer feature adds even more replayability to the game, as you can team up with friends and hunt together. So for replayability, I would give Double Cross a strong score of 9.7 out of 10. To summarize, Monster Hunter Double Cross is an amazing game with excellent gameplay and replayability. The addition of hunting styles and hunter arts adds new layers of excitement to the game, making it stand out from other titles in the series. With 93 monsters to hunt, players can satisfy their cravings for monster hunting. Although the game's graphics may seem outdated compared to newer titles, the overall experience is definitely worth trying out. However, I would caution players who are intolerant of outdated game mechanics such as the annoying tracking system, time-consuming resource gathering, and frequent loading screens. These aspects might prove frustrating for some players who are accustomed to more modern and streamlined games. In conclusion, if you're after an action-packed game with deep and rewarding gameplay, then Monster Hunter Double Cross is definitely worth considering. It's ideal for players who enjoy the challenge of hunting and defeating monsters, as well as those who appreciate the customization options offered by the game's hunting styles and hunter arts. With its strong gameplay, impressive monster roster, and high replayability, it's a must-try for any avid gamer looking for a new adventure. I hope you found this review informative and helpful. I would love to hear from you. Which hunting style do you prefer the most? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, guild style. I mean, come on, the classics are classic for a reason. Guild style is where it's at. B. Striker style. Who needs regular attacks when you can unleash a barrage of hunter arts? It's like being a superhero, but with weapons. C. Aerial style. Why bother fighting monsters on the ground like a commoner when you can ride them like a boss? Yeehaw. D. Valor style. Once you try the Valor style, you'll be hooked on that sweet, sweet smoothness. And let's not forget about that automatic dodge within the sheathing animation. It's like having a personal bodyguard on standby. It's so addictively satisfying. You'll find yourself activating it again and again, like it's a button you can't stop pressing. A. Adept style. Risk it all for the glory of a perfectly timed counter-attack. It's like gambling, but with monster hunting. F. Alchemy style. Why fight monsters head-on when you can use your wits and a little bit of science to craft items and beat them with clever techniques? If you found this video entertaining and informative, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss out on future content. Thank you for watching and see you next time.